I'm very excited today because I've had a delivery and it's the hand laundry mangle or hand wringer. It sounded by reading the description as if it would stand up to the environment on the boat because everything's been coated to stop it from corroding. So let's just uh, have a look at the actual article. So a little plate, handle. So this is the mangle itself. I'll put it together and we'll see how it works. I'm trying to get this the water assembly into the hang ringer is pretty almost impossible it's like one side is just just too high to get it underneath the bit of metal that's that's in there so i'm gonna get baz on the job i think see if i'm doing it wrong it's not complex it's just difficult so it works i got it together and it works sorry about the glasses but it's very sunny out here there are a few things i was disappointed with. It was just about five euros more expensive than the Collingwood, which gets rave reviews everywhere that I've been looking. But despite what the information on the website on Amazon said, it doesn't really seem to be made of high quality materials and it doesn't seem to have been put together very well. It was made in China and it seems like they must be mass producing them because um, one of the screws that actually holds it to the tub is really, really difficult to, to turn. I don't know if it's slightly cross-threaded and the top bar has got a slight look of rust to it already. So I don't know that, you know, they say it was all treated with zinc, but who knows. Um, and also one of the blocks that's cut that's inside of the mechanism, it's been really jaggedly cut, you know, there's they've just obviously thrown it together really quickly. The handle also wobbles um, at the place where it's screwed on so I'll have to put some electrical tape um, inside of the join there so that it's it's nice and firm and all of the screws that held the rest of the mangle together were very very loosely done so I'll have to go around and tighten them properly. The little water plate was very difficult to install and Baz and I took, a f I mean, it didn't take like hours, it took us about 10, 15 minutes, but we had to really think about how we were going to do that so that it would work. Um, apart from that, it does look as if it's going to do what it says it will do. So I'm excited to do the first load of laundry, although <laughs> at the moment I've got no dirty clothes or anything so we're gonna have to wait for that. I've put a tea towel and a pair of jeans through the mangle and you can tighten and loosen the um, the two rollers so that you can get different thicknesses through and it's wide enough to get jeans through and I'm sure to do sheets um, you know if you just fold them a couple of times they'll all go through as well so in practice I think it will make my job a lot easier when I'm back on the boat so I'm quite glad that I've got it. I don't know that it's necessarily worth the money that they're charging for it. From reading reviews on lots of websites, the Collingwood gets pretty much four and a half, five stars wherever you look. And I was quite happy to pay the money for that. Looking at this, didn't have a lot of reviews didn't seem to have had a lot of people buying it I think probably because most other places can get the Collingwood but I just couldn't get it delivered to Greece so that was the only option I had um, it was about five euros more expensive than the Collingwood and honestly if the Collingwood ringer is as good as people say it is and that's worth that value which I'll put on the screen then this one don't know don't know we'll see we'll see how long it lasts because I will be using salt water we'll just see how long the parts last it's very simply made so if anything goes wrong with it it could probably be fixed easily by us H having said all of that having had my little whinge about about various things I'm very very glad to have got it I was so excited when the parcel arrived today and uh, <laughs> Can you believe it? Can't wait to do some laundry. <laughs> I've done some hand laundry in the studio apartment. So, uh, I've washed it and I've rinsed it. I'm bringing it back here to squeeze out the excess water from the mangle. So I haven't actually used it before, so we'll see how we go. Oh, 
but it's not an ideal system this Baz. I need three hands. We looked at the mangle later to troubleshoot the problem. The plate on the end of the thumb screw isn't big enough to attach to this thin pulpit rail. So we've decided that we'll make something similar to this, which we use to mount the outboard engine with. And that way it will hold the mangle securely to stop it from moving forwards and backwards. My grandmother used to do this really well. <laughs> Oh, yay! Might put it through again, but I think it's a bit of a work in progress, but I can see the potential. <laughs> to watch the complete story of Sailing ABC, click here. To become a subscriber, click here. And if you want to become a patron, click here. Thanks for watching.